Jasmine, how you doing? Okay, so let me see. Um, I th I like the Swab Serif. I think it works beautifully. I really do. I think it. I mean, I haven't seen the scripted typeface you're talking about, but um, I, I I'm a I'm a big fan here. I think I had mentioned that earlier in some, one of your earlier posts, but I think this is fantastic. A um, couple of recommendations. A great job here deciphering the, the areas that are used over. I mean, th that's really so important. Um, understanding what areas you can use over. Okay, like the L being that um, uh, the ascender for the D. That's that's good stuff. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. My computer was doing something kind of funny. Anyways, so these vertical stems are great. I mean, the, the, the fact that you're reusing them and you've identified them as areas that will be reused, that's fantastic. And that's a big part of your first typeface design. It's a big part of it, deciphering what can be used. It's going to create outstanding harmony. Basically, that's how it's done. So, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, couple of recommendations. I think that your, your um, stroke widths are pretty inconsistent. So try to, I mean, they don't have to be identical, though in a typeface like this, this is that you might may want to just try to um, ensure that all of your strokes are identical in their width and, and see how that looks typographically regarding the color of the type on the page. Uh, is it too dark? Is it too dense? Or is it is it breathable? Um, but we, let me show you some examples. We can clearly see that the stroke of the G is much thicker than that of the other letter forms. We can also see that uh, same phenomenon in the H. And then also we can see that L, the lowercase L, is, is thicker than the T. So my question is, shouldn't those be basically those are the same vertical um, stem? Sh shouldn't those be identical? You see what I'm saying? I mean, the only thing you have on the L that you, you know, I just noticed an inconsistency as well. You've got your lowercase L right here that has a serif only coming off to the right side of, uh, of the vertical stem. But over here on this lowercase L, you've got the serif coming off the right and left side of the, the lowercase L off that, uh, uh, vertical stem. So watch, watch consistency there. That's really, really important. Um, the other thing, I think that this looks good. Um, I am wondering about the, the, the two. Hmm. Boy, you may want to take a closer look at this. This is creating this kind of a weird box right here. And we can see it again right here. And that's caused by the upper and lower serif coming off to the right side of the lowercase a and the upper and lower serif coming off to the left side of the lowercase n. And that is seems to be a, a, an area that really draws a lot of attention, probably more so than the other letter combination. So I'm a little concerned about that that might be um, uh, demanding too much attention and, and stealing the show in terms of hierarchy. So let's experiment with that. Maybe try taking that upper serif away from the the lowercase a and only using the, the bottom serif. Try it. See what you think. See how it looks. My only and my final, my last comment here is the S. Watch your curves in the S. It seems like right here it gets a little bit wonky right through there. It seems to be really clean right through here. But that just seems to be a little bit, it's just not as smooth as it could be. So definitely want to revisit that area and get that really, really smoothed out, that ass right there. Um, yes, indeed. Other than that, I think it's fantastic. I, I, I really am enjoying the high ascenders and the low X height. I think that's creating a fabulous uh, visual um, uh, kind of a, a variety. Uh, based on the same letter form, that the, the, the variety falls in the fact that the, the X height of the, the ascender line, well, as the cap line is so high and the, the X height is so minimal that I think it just creates a really, really neat visual juxtaposition. And I think it's one that can be assigned to your story in, in terms of these kind of juxtapositions that we see in the story as well as in the actual title of the story. So really, really good job. So those are my recommendations moving forward. If you have any questions, comments at all, or you need further clarification, Jasmine, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, good job, thank you.